Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. To create a business partner in SAP s using Fiori, we navigate to this particular tile here. It's called Manage Business Partner Master Data. You can either search for the tile via the so-called spaces, or you can also just click over here and type in Manage Business Partner Master Data. And then you will also see the application. Let's click on this one. And over here, you can see the landing page for the business partner maintenance. So what we can do is we can search for business partners by using different filters if necessary. Or I could also just hit go over here without selecting any particular filters. Then it will show me all the business partners already existing in the system. However, let's now create a new business partner. Therefore, we click on this button here called create. We can either create a business partner of type person or a business partner of type organization. So a person is a natural individual like you and me. And an organization would be a customer, a vendor, or both. Let's choose organization. We click on this one and this little pop-up appears. In this pop-up, we can first of all select the so-called business partner grouping. The business partner grouping will decide about the number that is generated for the business partner once we save the business partner. So let's select one. We select internal number assignment, meaning that Later on, when I save the business partner, the number will be generated automatically by the system. For now, this is fine. All of the other parameters I will fill later on. So let's click on OK. We can see this new tab opened where we can now insert the general data for the business partner first. So let's just provide some dummy data. Let's say test business partner, then search term test. We can include an organization title, let's say company, also some more data that is not mandatory. We can select an industry or multiple industries our business partners operating in by clicking on create, then select an industry system and an industry. Let's say our business partner is operating in oil and gas, and we can also provide some notes. Then over here, you can see a bunch of other different tabs. I just want to show you the most important ones. So before we click on the roles tab here, we can add some address information like the street, of our business partner, the house number, postal code, city, country and region, and so on. And we can also limit the validity of a particular address if necessary. We have some address independent communication, so telephone number, cell phone and email address of the business partner, as well as bank account information over here. For the bank accounts, we can click on create. We provide a country or region, then a bank key, and then we can provide here an account number and account name. Let's provide a number, just a test. And that's basically it. We can also always click over here to even fill more data if necessary. Then quite important, as I've explained you in another video, we can also provide business partner relationships. I will link the particular video in the description of this one. We can classify the business partner and also we can upload attachments in this area over here. Now let's actually first create the business partner and then we fill the so-called business partner roles. Let's click on create and you can see the business partner was created successfully. This business partner received a particular number you can see over here. Now let's click on edit again. As of now, we created the business partner with the general data. However, if we want to use this business partner for activities from the point of view of the sales side or also the purchasing side, we need to add so-called business partner roles. This is why we click on this tab over here. Over here, you can see create or create with reference. Let's click on create in this case. You can see now there is a one here in brackets and we can select the business partner role. For this example, we will create a business partner of type vendor. So I will click on this button over here and then I will scroll down until I see the role FLVN00, which is called Supplier Financial Accounting. Let's click on this one and then we select the role. We are forwarded to the next screen where you can see that most of the tabs over here are the same as the ones we have filled before. This is because particular data we only need to fill once at the beginning when creating the business partner and they will be taken over for all the business partner roles we create later on. However, now you can see a new tab over here called company code. So let's actually click on this one. Here we can add a company code for our business partner of type vendor. So we click on create. We are forwarded to the next screen. And over here, we first of all provide the company code. Then we can set the posting block 
if we want to forbid any postings to be made to this particular vendor in this particular company code or a deletion block, if we want to hinder this business partner from being deleted, then we can add some correspondence data. But most importantly, over here in the finance section, we need to add a reconciliation account. Let's just say payables domestic. We can include payment terms and also select, for instance, check double invoice so that each and every time you want to post to this vendor, the system will check if a similar invoice has already been issued and we had a bunch of other parameters to fill. But I won't explain each and every single one right now, just the most important ones. So despite the reconciliation account payment terms and check double invoice, quite importantly is also the sort key, which is used to sort the documents for the business partner. So we say they will be sorted by the posting date. And then if we scroll further down, we can see that there is a section for withholding texts. If necessary, we can fill them. And also we can fill Dunning data for this business partner if this business partner is relevant for Dunning. As always, we have an attachment section and the text section in the end. Now we click on apply and we are back in the initial screen where we can see the company code has been filled and now we can click on apply again. So now this business partner has some general data and also in the roles section there is the supplier financial data which was added successfully. Now we can click on save again and the business partner is saved successfully. By now we have a business partner of type vendor with all the general data and financial data filled. However, the purchasing view is still missing. This is why we click on edit again and then we add here another role for the business partner. Click on create, select the role called FLVN01, which is the purchasing data for the business partner. Click on this one and then on the arrow over here. And now we see the view we have seen before with all the data we filled initially. However, there is the tab purchasing organizations over here. We click on this one and we provide a new purchasing organization via create. Then we select the purchasing organization and then we can add here more parameters like the purchasing group, also the plan delivery time from this particular vendor. However, most of the data is not mandatory. As always, we can include the payment terms over here as well. And scrolling down a bit, we can add partner functions. So for instance, if we buy from this vendor, but we need to pay to a different party if, if our vendor is a big enterprise or the ship to party is deviating and so on. We could simply do this via the create button if necessary. And as always, we have texts and also we have attachments. Let's click on apply. You can see the purchasing organization was added successfully. We click on apply again, and then we are finished. By now we created a business partner with general data and also with two particular business partner roles, one for the financial accounting and the other one for the purchasing view. And by that we created a business partner with all the necessary vendor details that we need. So we click on save and that's it. The record has been saved successfully. Yeah, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.